All right, today we're going to be covering lesson 8-1, slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. On the previous slide, you should have seen the paragraph and the picture that's listed right here that says, the new ramp at a local skate park is shown above. In addition to the wooden ramp, an aluminum rail, not shown, is mounted to the edge of the ramp. While the image of the ramp may conjure thoughts of kickflips, nollies, and nose grinds, there are mathematical forces at work here as well. Here, we're going to split this lesson into five separate sections, and the first section is going to cover question number one only. Question number one says, use the diagram of the ramp to complete the chart below. A. Describe two parts of the ramp that appear to be parallel. B. Describe two parts of the ramp that appear to be perpendicular. And C. Describe two parts of the ramp that appear to be neither parallel nor perpendicular. I think that this might take five minutes for you to look over and see if you can identify parallel, perpendicular, and neither line segments on this particular picture. So go ahead, pause your video for five minutes time and try to answer the three parts to question number one. As you can see, the answers to questions number one have been provided for us. I have put sample answers only because there could have been a number of combinations that you could have come up with for any three parts here. But let's talk about this. I listed B, E, and D, F. I said that this line segment going across the top here looks to be perpendicular, I meant, sorry, parallel to D, F. Was that the only set? No, you probably could have come up with B, D, and E, F as well. Let's talk about perpendicular instead of parallel. I said B, C, and C, D. So I said this line segment going down and the line segment going across look like they might form this 90 degree angle right there. Um, another one you might have said was B, D, and D, F right here on the ramp itself looks like that might be a 90 degree angle. When it asks to come down to neither parallel nor perpendicular, I particularly put AC and FD. AC is right here. FD is way over here. And those didn't look like they intersected in any such format to me. So again, this is all... Um, in context of what you're thinking. There's no right or wrong answer here because of the way that it's perceived. It's all perception. On to your debriefing question. 